early on in the first few weeks of life, it has to do with the stability of the hip joint, uh, and that's picked up on a newborn exam by the pediatrician, likely in the hospital or at the one or two week uh, hospital visit. And uh, there are certain risk factors predisposing newborns to this, uh, um, a few of them being a firstborn um, child. The anatomy is a little bit different in that case. Uh, uh, girls tend to be more affected than boys by a six to one ratio. Uh, being born breached because the hips are in a different position in utero and having a strong family history, meaning that the mother or grandmother had was treated uh, you know, early on in life for similar conditions. And um, there's, uh, the condition is called developmental dysplasia of the hip, which is, encompasses a wide spectrum of conditions, including uh, abnormal shape of uh, the socket or acetabulum or the femur, um, or instability, meaning the hip is dislocated or subluxable. And if that's missed and untreated, um, you'll, it will affect the walking, uh, and so we do have some certain cases uh, showing up to us uh, late in presentation. Uh, even a change in the shape of the socket or acetabulum, if left untreated over a lifetime, will catch up to you. There are uh, several long-term studies that show that, uh, especially in uh, women, this will catch up with you, and you'll have signs of early arthritis, perhaps in your early 40s. Mm -hmm.